guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I am so excited to do the 2019 January Witch's Moon! Yay! Ah. This month's Witch's Moon is called Egyptian Magic, and I'm so stoked about this because, <laughs> like, ever since I was, like, little, little toddler, like, three, maybe even under three. I've been obsessed with everything Egyptian. My whole family is obsessed with everything Egyptian. And um, it's also, uh, well, Egypt is my last name. So, okay. So Egyptian magic. As true seekers of knowledge and wisdom, we turn to the limitless depths of Egyptian magic. We are true practitioners of all things related to magic and witchcraft. In this sought-after collection, we focus on our deep yearning to understand the wisdom passed down from the ancients. These magical concepts and tools are very sacred to us and are held close to the thriving curiosity that feeds our souls. As we step back from our daily tasks, we step into an older, more sophisticated world so that may, we may truly understand the magic that flows through every movement and gesture we make. A world where Mother Earth and our universe is filled with the power of gods and goddesses. As we work to understand the magic presented in this collection, we learn to fill ourselves with the power that we once inscribed in the monolithic temples and pyramids. Accompany us as we delve into the sacred practices and beliefs behind ancient Egyptian magic. Yay! Okay, so um, the Witch's Moon always has these um, beautiful, beautiful, by the way, thick. <laughs> Uh, papers with uh, describing everything that's in the box um, you know it's it's magical properties and um, different ways that you can use it although you're not like limited to everything that's on this paper you can obviously use things the way you wish okay so the first thing is they have included a book and I love that it was wrapped in brown paper which usually if they're gonna include something large it's always just wrapped in like brown paper bag paper with like twine but I don't know, that just seems so magical and cool to me. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is the limited edition Egyptian Prosperity Magic Book by Claudia R. Dillard. And it said that these, these specific books are the only hardcover gold foiled copies that exist, created exclusively for the Witch's Moon. Um, and so there's uh, a lot of stuff in there for spell work for jobs, work, uh, interviews, resumes, um, uh, working with different gods and goddesses of the Egyptian pantheon. It's, I've already had like a look through it. It's pretty freaking awesome. So let's take a look. Okay, so here is the Egyptian Prosperity Magic by Claudia R. Dallaire. And there's a nice little note in here from the Witch's Moon because this is exclusively for their boxes. And let's see if we can go into the table of contents here. Uh, here we go. So you guys can see kind of what's in there. Okay, and I'm just kind of having like a flip through. Like here's some of the gods and goddesses. Going into some spells. On into um, certain herbs you know if you wanted to like figure out what they are like how you can maybe create your own spells tweaking spells to suit your purpose and obviously a bibliography so <laughs> this yes I am so bummed that actually work resumes tomorrow and I'm like oh I just want to stay home and I like want to read through this <laughs> The next thing on the list is an inscribed resin onk plaque. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, they create so many wonderful, beautiful boxes, but I have such a deep connection with like everything ancient Egypt, Egyptology, all of that, that this box like really, this is my jam. This is my jam, you guys. <laughs> Okay, so it says that this has been hand cast using real crushed stone bonded with high quality uh, designer resin. 
Each piece has been individually hand painted by a group of practiced artisans. Um, and then it talks about um, it's a powerful tool or key in ancient Egypt. It connects the male Osiris and the female Isis, which interestingly enough for my daily card today, I did pull the Isis card. Um, and it kind of goes into a little bit more information about what the Ankh is. So let's have a look. Oh my gosh, you guys! Oh. I don't know if I'll actually hang this. I kind of like the thought of this just like being on my altar. Um, but let me get in nice and tight. Just so you guys can see. And obviously there's a little little hook up there if you did want to hang it but like I said I think I just want to um, place this beautiful onk on my altar <sighs> so gorgeous so gorgeous and it has the eye of horse in the middle which is awesome and then flanking it here you have uh, the other two onks so the breath of life <sighs> Right, the next thing on their list is the hand rolled lady of the sycamore candle um, and this has been hand rolled and charged uh, with the purpose of connecting to the transformative energies of Hathor also known as lady of the sycamore so it talks a little bit about uh, who that goddess is um, and it says that this candle has been enchanted with a special mixture of their scarab magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery um, and there's also a little um, spell from the Book of Shadows that's been wrapped around it. I never really show that spell because I feel that that's, um, that's you know, kind of like personal. Like you want to, you know, you want to uh, devote some time to kind of sit at your altar. At least that's what I do once I finish the videos is I then read that spell. I light the candle. I like, I have a whole, whole deal that I do. So here's their beautiful green hand-rolled candle. Obviously the spell on it says Lady of the Sycamore. And I love their beeswax candles. They just burn so, so cleanly. So yeah, I'm, I love that it's, everything's like this gold and green and just like, just uh, an air of prosperity <laughs> and success for, for everything. I'm so excited. Okay, next we have Renanutit, a magical anointing oil. It says that this is the goddess that is kept close to Egyptian magicians and witches as she brings with her protection, prosperity, abundance, and good fortune. And isn't that something that we might all want in our lives? So it goes into a little bit more information. Then it goes on into saying that there is lemongrass in there, clove, bay leaf oils. Uh, they've included a piece of bay leaf in there as well as some allspice and lemon verbena. Um, there's also a Lemurian quartz in there, which is said to personify oneness with your aura. They also have a special mixture of their attraction magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery in the mix. So let's take a look. Magical oil. So goddess of the fertile fields. Again, a goddess that was mostly used by the Egyptian magicians and witches. Um, so I, I love actually reusing a lot of the things that come in the witch's moon, like the... Um, bath salts and like the container for that and the container for these so I can like make my own little more oil mixtures you know that I have like little bottles that I can keep around the house um so yeah it's a, a beautiful amber bottle obviously to protect the contents from sunlight and things like that um and I know that you guys can't smell but you know so I can like describe the scent to you <sighs> okay so <laughs> You know, I don't know how the witch's moon does this, but um, I'm going to put this on so I don't spill it. Um, it smells like, I don't want to say it smells old. It smells like, you know, if you were, um, you know what it kind of smells like? My uh, grandma and grandpa's basement in Ridgecrest, California, which is in the high desert. Um, it gets really hot out there. <laughs> And there's this certain scent when things are like hot and burning and old. <laughs> and that's kind of what this smells like. It's some, it smells like something that's been kept secret or hidden for a long time. 
in the burning desert like Egypt, you know, so I don't know how they make it smell like I would think that um, tombs or pyramids, um, ancient places might spell, uh, spell, smell, um, and they bottled it up. I don't know how they do that. Okay, so I was mentioning the uh, bath salts earlier. Well, they have the Imbolc sacred salt. Um, so it talks about what Imbolc is, that it is a Gaelic festival that usually uh, brings in spring. Uh, it's commonly uh, celebrated uh, at sundown of January 31st to sundown of February 1st. Um, and then it talks about like how you can use it. Um, so I'm contemplating waiting that long or, um, you know, because I am, there is something that I'm like, not like, not like I'm actually pregnant birthing, but like pregnant or like birthing, uh, this like creation of mine and I'm thinking of using it for that because of that creation um, so in here they have jasmine and violet oils as well as elderflower and jasmine buds uh, they also have a special mixture of their in bulk magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery so let's take a look all right so here's their in bulk sacred salts and I like that their labels have been getting fancier, um, but I like that it has that like paper bag feel. <laughs> okay, so their salts always look beautiful. And for me, I like to, since, well, I have a bathtub, but I, you know, don't always take like baths. I'm usually taking showers. So I sprinkle it on the floor of the shower so that my little tootsies can step on the salt and it just feels really cleansing. Um, Eveline Timeless had mentioned putting it into a little sachet and hanging it from the shower head so you can get the aromas of it. So, you know, um, you don't need a bathtub for bath salts, but, um, you know, it's, it's nice. And then this I was really stoked about too. They have a piece of rough Sumatran green jade. I love jade. <laughs> I got some really nice pieces of jade when, um, I was able to visit China back in the day, back in 09, on an educator's tour. And so, yeah, I, I love jade. Um, it says, this truly beneficial stone has been highly esteemed throughout recorded history as the strengthener of life and protector of death, commonly connected to abundance and prosperity. And it talks a little bit more about jade uh, and an affirmation that you can use, such as I am strong and steady physically, emotionally, and spiritually. Let's take a look at this rough piece of jade. Oh my gosh, take a look at this. It's, it's this, oh, I love dark, dark, dark jade. Um, I have several pieces of, you know, the, the lighter jade, I think that we're, we mostly think of when we think of jade, but I love the dark pieces, like forest dark. Um, and off in the background, it came in that uh, little gold bag there. Um, again, keeping with that theme of prosperity, abundance, success. And I think this is just beautiful. Actually, um, before I made this video, uh, yesterday I used it in my live chat. Um, when I was slinging some cards, it just really, it really felt pulled to this. Then we have some Egyptian offering incense. Um, it says that it is a wonderful scent of cinnamon and clove. Both of these were burned as offerings in Egyptian rituals to warm welcome to the blessings bestowed from the gods and goddesses. Along with bringing blessings into your surroundings, this in incense offers us the ability to overcome obstacles mentally while maintaining protection on our ritual journey. So here's our lovely uh, incense sticks and they actually always last me until the next moon box. So I literally yesterday used a little last incense stick from uh, the December box. So, um, and this is um, the smell, It okay. If success had a smell, it smells like success and it's really powerful too, so. Um, you know, one, one is good for the house. And then it talks about um, three herbs that they have included. And it says, as explained in Egyptian Prosperity Magic by Claudia R. Dillard. So that was the book that I showed you at the very beginning. Or sorry, Dillard. Uh, These magical herbs were used in potions and spells for the following outcomes. So it talks about there being a uh, myket herb, uh, which is also known as clove. 
uh, bashin bark, which is allspice, and bay bark, which is known as bay leaf. And it talks about what each of them are supposed to attract and uh, what their planet is, their element, uh, and if they're considered more of a masculine or feminine herb. So here are those three herbs. Of course, we have our allspice here, also known as bashin. Uh, we have myket, which is our clove, and we have our bay, which is our bay leaf. And I was actually, interestingly enough, dreaming about bay leaves <laughs> um, the day before I got the moon box in the mail, so I don't know what that means. Um, with every moon box, they always include an oracle card. Um, and it's usually from, you know, obviously different decks every month, uh, but they like to meditate on the box, like who this is being sent to, and then they pick a card from that. And that is just like that personal touch that I really think is awesome, especially the way that they, they package their items and, you know, like how they, they wrap the books and put a little twine bow around it. And, you know, it's just like those special touches that make everything feel, you know, so... So much more special and um, beautiful even though like the items themselves are already beautiful it's the extra touches that just add that little little extra sparkle okay so the Oracle deck that they used this month is called money magic manifestation cards and that is from the one and only Ethany so I was so excited I was like hey these are Ethany's cards <laughs> so um, let's take a look at my card Okay, so the card that I received was, I am abundantly supported by the universe. This couldn't have come at a better time. Um, I am working on something that is going to come to fruition this year that I'm totally stoked about. Um, and so it was just really nice to <sighs> receive this card. Okay, every month they always include an extra piece of parchment paper so that you can you know, do whatever you want, write your intentions, um, write a spell, meditate, like whatever you want to do with it. Um, when I finish the video, uh, that's when I like get ready to work at my altar. I light the candle that came with this box, I read the spell that went, goes with it. Uh, I meditate on the oracle card that came. Uh, I might even light some of the new incense. Um, and then I write my intentions for this month, the month of January. Um, and then I'll, I'll tuck that away in my bookcase and I burn it at the end of the month. So that's kind of just what I do. <laughs> okay, they've also included a piece of artwork. Uh, every month they always do that. This piece of art is by Adrian Alden and it's the Toth book or some people call it Thoth, a book of uh, shadows artwork. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor the Egyptian god of wisdom and writing. So let's take a look at that. All right, and I always love their pieces of artwork. They're just so beautiful. Um, and they really do, like if you wanted to put them all together in your book of shadows or even just like a, a individual notebook just for all of these, they're, they're beautiful. And you can use them too. Like they have so much good information on them. It's not only just beautiful art, but there's a lot of info. Uh, so here it's talking about the other names of Toth or Thoth, um, his different titles. Um, iconography and other information so yes very very beautiful so that's it you guys those were all the items in this month's moon box uh, so the theme was Egyptian magic um, and I'm so stoked about this like I I, I don't want to sound like a crazy head while I'm making this video so I'm actually containing my excitement so that I can have a very well-spoken <laughs> video showing off the items but I am going to town with this stuff once this video is over so uh, if you're interested in subscribing to the Moonbox or even checking out their online store uh, I will leave a link to their shop down below um, and their uh, their other subscription box as well known as the uh, which is bounty box I'll put that link down below as well and if you have any comments or questions, definitely leave it in the comment section. I always get back to everyone. Um, yeah, and that's it for me. I'm so stoked about this, you guys. So, hey, if you want to catch a reading with me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. I thank you all for watching. And if you dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. And don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. 
and I will catch you spiritual homies later. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. <laughs>